morning, everyone. My name is Francia. Today we're going to be going through our half primary vinyasa practice or ashtanga practice. So let's start in a comfortable standing position. Come to the top of your mat. The toes and heels are together. The legs are engaged. Think about drawing the belly up and in, and this is a little bit of a tuck under through the tailbone. The shoulders go back, the arms hang heavy. This is called Pranasikiti. Allow the top of the head to reach sky upward. You can close your eyes if you wish, or just take a gentle gaze down to the bridge of the nose. Come into a resonating breath here, letting the air for oxygen. The in-breath draw in. Expanding through the lungs and the chest, and then exhale and release and soften through the shoulders, throat, and the neck. You may feel like, or you may hear an audible sound as the breath draws in and as the breath releases. Connect with that same movement of breath, each round, grounding to the soles of your feet. And with the next exhale, we'll draw the palms together at the center of the heart. We'll open our space of practice here with the sound Om, followed by our um, opening mantra. I'll just chant it along. If you know it, feel free to chant along with me. Inhale to begin. Om. One day. Gurunam Charanara Vinde Sanda Chita Swatma Suka Babode Nishre Jase Jangali Kayamane Samsara Kala Kala Muha Shankye Abahui Guru Shakaram Shanka Chakrati Daharanam Sahasra Shirsam Vesam Prana Mami Satam Jalim Om. We begin with Surya Namaskara A, Namaskar TV. And come inhale, raise the arms, gazing up towards thumbs. Press down through your feet, reach through the fingertips. Sway, exhale, fold forward, hinging from the hips. Try to bring your palms down, fingers line up with your toes, head relaxes. Baby, inhale, lengthen forward, come to the fingertips, shoulders roll back, try to straighten the legs. Chatwadi, exhale, step your feet back, and take Chaturanga Dandasana, lowering down with control. Pancha, inhale, lift into upward facing, top to the feet on the floor. Shoulders roll back, lift the rib cage and chest. Maybe chin up, keep gazing to the tip of the nose. Shock, exhale, curl over the toes and make your way to downward facing dog. Keep the feet about hip width apart, hand shoulder width apart. Hollow out the lower belly, move the rib cage towards the thighs. One. Resonating breath here too as well. Two. Separate the shoulder blades. Lengthen through the whole back body. Three, maybe the heels can press down, or if you like, you can walk your feet a little bit. Four, steady, calm breathing. And five, Sapta, inhale, look forward. Step, walk your feet forward, lengthening as soon as you get there. Ashtau, exhale, fold deeply once more, forehead to knees. Nava, inhale, strong legs, rise up, bellies in, palms together, gazing at thumbs, and sum up, keeping Good. We're going to do a total of five. That was one. Egam, inhale, arms up. Dwe, exhale, fold forward, full breath out. Bini, inhale, lengthen. Chatwadi, exhale, step or jump back. You can start jumping here or you can continue to step. Chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, pressing up to upward facing. 
Press the toes onto the floor. Stop. Exhale. Downward facing. And calm, steady breathing here. One. Try to lift the kneecaps, contract the quadriceps. Two. Keep hollowing out the lower belly. Three. Strong fingers. Four. And five. Sapta, inhale. Step or walk your feet forward. Once more, lengthen the spine. Ashtao, exhale, fold. Nava, inhale, rise. Strong legs. Arms up, palms together, chasing a thumb. And Samastiti, exhale. Good. Three more. Akam, inhale. Dway, exhale. Use the breath to move. Bini, inhale. Chatwadi, step or jump. Exhale. Pancha, inhale. Stop, exhale. Staying here, five breaths. One, two, three, four, calm and easy, five. Uh, Sapta, inhale, step or jump forward, lengthening. Ashta, exhale, fold. Nava, inhale, rise. Samastiti, exhale. Beautiful. Let's do two more. Egam, inhale. Dwe, exhale. Bini, inhale. Chatwadi, exhale. Anja, inhale. Shot, exhale. Adjusting the feet, grounding the hands. Steady breathing. One, two, three, four, and five. Sapta, inhale, step or jump forward. Lengthen. Ashtao, exhale, fold. Nava, inhale, rise. Strong legs. Samastiti, exhale. Good. Last one. Egam, inhale. Dwe, exhale. Bini, inhale. Chatwadi, exhale. Pancha, inhale. Deep breath in as you lift. Stop. Exhale. Stabilize here. Try to calm the breathing. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Sapta, inhale, jump forward, lengthen. Ashta, exhale, fold. Nava, inhale, rise. Samastiti, exhale. Good. Moving into Surya Namaskar B. Akam, inhale, bend your knees, lift the arms, palms together, look at thumb. Dwe, exhale, fold forward, forehead to knees. Bini, inhale. Lengthen the spine. Chatwadi, exhale. Step or jump. Chaturanga. Pancha, inhale. Shot, exhale. Now, here's a change. Left heel steps in. Sapta, right foot forward. Inhale, rise. Palms together, gaze at thumb. Ashta, exhale. Hands to the floor, right foot back. Take Chaturanga. Nava, inhale. Dasha, exhale. 
Right foot heel now steps in. Left foot steps forward between the hands. Ekadasha. Inhale. Deep breath in as you rise. Dwadasha. Hands come down. Left foot back. Chaturanga. Trayodasha. Inhale. Chaturdasha. Exhale. Stay here. One. Calming the breath. Two. Take your eyes to the upper sides of the knees. Three. Four. Kind of deepen the inhale. Slow down the exhale. And five. Good. Uh, punch of the shot. Inhale. Step or jump. Lengthen. So the shot. Exhale. Hold. Sapta the shot. Bend the knees, belly in, arms up. Samasti to T. Exhale. Good. Only two more just like that. A come inhale. Bend the knees, arms up. Due. Exhale. Fold forward. Try not to rush. Baby inhale. Chatwari. Exhale. Jump back. Okay. Chaturanga. Pancha. Inhale. <laughs> Shot, exhale. Right foot down. <laughs> Inhale, come on. Ashta, exhale. All the way down. Okay, Chaturanga once more. Nava, inhale. Dasha, exhale. Try to move with your breath. Left foot steps forward. Ekadasha, deep breath in to rise. Dwadasha, exhale, all the way down to Chaturanga. Trayodasha, inhale, relax the hips, open the chest. Chaturdasha, exhale. Stay here, one. Shoulders move away from each other, two. Strong legs, try to press the heels down. Three. Find your pelvic floor muscles and see if you can draw up and in, engaging there. Four. Five. Punch of the shaft. Inhale, step or jump. Lengthening the body. So the shaft. Exhale, fold. Stop the shaft. Bend the knees, arms up. Samasti to he. Exhale. Good. Last one. Egum inhale. Dwe exhale. Trini inhale. Chatwari exhale. Pancha inhale. Stop. Exhale. Sapta, right foot forward between the hands. Inhale, round. Ashta, exhale, all the way down to Chaturanga. Nava, inhale. Dasha, exhale, other side, left foot forward. Ekadasha, inhale. Dwadasha, hands down. Exhale all the way down to the floor. Trayodasha, inhale. Chaturdasha, exhale. Stay here. One. Calm your breathing. Two. Three. Four. Five. Punch of the shot. Inhale, step or jump. Lengthen. So the shot. Exhale, fold. Sup to the shot. Bend the knees, arms up, palms together, gazing at thumbs. Samastitihi. Exhale. Beautiful. 
Moving into the first asana, separate your feet hip width apart. Take them inhale, pose forward, grab your big toes. Sway, exhale, take your deeper pull. One. Two, move the shoulders away from the ears. Roll the weight forward, try to lift the hips. Three, contract the quadriceps a bit so you can straighten the legs. Four, move the head through the arm towards the legs. Lengthen your abdomen. Five, see the inhale, lengthen. Exhale there, sliding your hands now underneath your feet for Padahastasana. Egam, inhale, extend. Dway, exhale, fold deeply. Elbows open out to the side. One, shoulders away from the ears. Two, keep rolling the weight forward to the toes. Three, get the back of the hands all the way flat on the floor. Four, long abdomen, move the body through the arms. Five, sitting the inhale, extend and lengthen. Look forward, exhale there. Release your hands, hands on waist, come back up. Exhale, back to Samasthiti. Trikonasana. Ekam inhale, right foot steps to the right, big step. Open your arms, point your right toes. Dway, exhale, reach down, grab your right toe, reach your left arm up to the ceiling. Move your hips forward, shoulders back. One, arms are stacked. Two, strong legs. Three, press with the pinky toe of your left foot. Four, five, good. Three, the inhale, come up. Switch sides to twadi. Exhale, come down. Grab your left big toe, or you can use a block here as well. Look up towards right hand. One, stack your torso over your left leg. Two, try to look at your right thumb with your left eye. Three, Opening the chest, strong legs. Four, lengthen out of your torso. Five, pancha, inhale, come up. Switching sides now. Do a come inhale. Left hand down, right arm up. Find your pose. One, twist through the body and look up towards right hand. Plant the left hand on the block or on the floor. Two, right hip back, left hip forward. Three, Four, stay grounded through your feet. Five, three, inhale, come up. Chatwari, exhale, other side. Right hand down, left arm up. Keep your fingers together, strong left wrist. One, so the left wrist is nice and straight. Two, right hand is grounded. Three, left hip back, right hip forward. Strong legs here. Four, keep moving your body through. Five, pancha, inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, samastiti. Good, moving into a wider version of that trikonasana. Ekam, inhale, right leg steps back, bigger step. Point the right toe, bend the right knee, right hand on the floor, left arm up and over, look towards your left fingertips. One, sit the hips down. Two, mindful of your right knee. Keep it stacked over your right ankle. Three. Four, steady your breath. Five, good. Three, knee inhale, come up. Switching sides, left knee bends, left hand down on the outside of the left foot. Right arm up and over, open your chest. Look towards right hand, one. Chin towards your right armpit. Two, stabilize with strong legs. Three, lower your hips down firmly. Four, press the pinky edge of your right foot down. Steady your breath. Five, pancha, inhale, come up. Exhale, let's switch sides. Right knee now bent. We're gonna take the twisted version. Come on to your left toes. Try to get the outside of your shoulder over that right leg. So you're not just the elbow, but really pull into that space. Left hand can come down to the floor. Nice, strong fingers. It's okay if the palm doesn't touch down. And then you're gonna reach to the floor with your left heel. And then egg inhale or dway. 
as you reach and extend. One, stabilize your breath. Internal rotation of that left shoulder. Two, open and twist your body. Three, four, almost there. Five, three knee inhale. Come up. Exhale. Let's do the other side. Just while you exhale, come down. So again, try to hook the outside of the shoulder, not just the knee, because then your hand won't come down. Wiggle yourself into position, create a little bit of connection there, and then right hand to the floor, pressing the right heel down towards the mat, and left arm up and over. One, looking to left fingertips. Two, strong back leg. Three, stabilize your breath. Four, and five, punch that inhale, release, and come back up. Samaspitihi, exhale, good. Prasarita Padasanasana, ekam inhale, right leg back, point your toes forward, make sure you have a nice, strong, grounded legs. Due, exhale, fold, hands on the floor. Now inhale, just lift your chest, shoulders back. Try to ground in the soles of your feet. And then three, exhale, take your deeper fold. Hands can slide back as you press your palms in and try to bring the top of the head to the floor, shoulders away from the ears. One, bellies in. Two, stabilize the breath. Three, four, and five. Satwadi, inhale, hands forward, lift halfway, exhale there. Maybe slide the feet in just a little bit to get a little bit of control. And then time to inhale, come up, hands on waist. Exhale there, don't move. B position, Akam, inhale, arms out. Due, exhale, hands on waist. Inhale, lengthen the torso, round the feet. Trini, exhale, fold forward, hug your elbows back. Again, trying to bring the top of the head to the floor, hollow out the lower belly, pull the elbows towards each other. One, more weight forward to your toes, strong legs. Two, three, steady breathing, four, and five. Satwadi, inhale, slowly come up, take a moment here. Exhale, let it go. C position. A come inhale, arms out. Due, exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back and try to straighten your arms. Inhale again, long torso. Trini, exhale, once more, fold. Allow the arms to release behind the body, letting them reach down towards the floor, top of the head to the mat, strong legs, ground through your feet. One. Two, three, quadriceps contracted, four, reach those arms, let them open out, five, shatwadi, inhale, come all the way up, exhale, back to hands on waist, good, last one, Ekam inhale, lengthen the torso, due, exhale, fold forward, grab the big toes. Inhale again here, lengthen. Three knee, exhale, take your fold. Pull on the toes, elbows bent, shoulder blades back and down. One, pull forward, allow your body to reach the point of balance. Two, so you're not too far back on your heels, not too much forward on your toes. Three, strong legs, bellies in. Four, and five. Chatwadi, inhale, head up only. Exhale there. Hands on waist. Pancha, inhale, come up. And take Samas Pitihi. Exhale. Beautiful. Moving on. Hands behind the waist or behind the back. We're going to find reverse prayer. If reverse prayer is not an option, remember, hold on to your wrist or your elbows. Right foot steps back, kind of like you did when you did the first Trikonasana with the legs out. And then pivot all the way to face the back of your mat. Left hip forward, left shoulder forward, right hip back, right shoulder back. 
Find alignment here, steady your feet. Due, exhale, take your hold. One, release the head, chin towards the knee or the shin. Two, don't bend your knees, lift the elbows. Three, keep moving that left hip forward, right hip back. Four, and five. Can you inhale, come up. Switching sides. Again, align your hips, your shoulders with that left foot. Lengthen the torso, chip body. Exhale, find your fold. All the way down, extend it, and then relax the head, chin towards the knee or shin. Lift the elbows, palms together. One, two, three, strong feet. Four, keep lifting those elbows. Don't get sloppy with the elbows. Five, pancha inhale. Coming all the way back up. Return to the side. Arms extend, relax the shoulders. Exhale. Samas Titihi. Back to center. Good. Moving into our balance poses. Remember, you can grab your knee or you can grab your foot for this one. Come to your left foot. Let's start with the toe pointing forward. Reach the arm forward. So what we want to try to do here is use the strength of the leg to lift it so we can grab the toe as the leg extends forward. You can also grab your knee. Inhale, lengthen. Due, exhale, fold deeply. One, two, strong left leg. Three, shoulders back and down. Four, bellies in. Five, Dini, inhale, come up. Chatwadi, exhale, open the leg to the side. Remember, you can always do this. Grabbing onto the knee and just opening out to the side, look to the left. One, either way it works. Two, strong left leg. Three, four, and five. Pancha, inhale, come back to center. If your leg is extended, take one more fold and then lift up, point your toe. Everybody's leg extends now. One, strong left leg. Two, even if it's just a little bit off the floor, that's okay. Three, Try to lift up, four and five, release, good. Shake out those legs, ready for the other side. So remember, you can start with the hand on the knee or you can try to kick up, find your left big toe and shock, exhale, fold. One, two, bellies in, three, four, and five, Sapta, inhale, come up. Ashta, exhale, open the left leg to the left, move to the right. One, and again, you can hold your knee. Two, find your balance here. Three, four, easy and steady. Five, Nava, inhale, come back to center. Dasha, exhale, fold. Ekadasha, inhale, come up, balance. One, stabilize with your right leg. Two, look at your toe. You can keep it up. Stay there. Three, don't give up. You can do it. Four, five. Exhale, lower down. Good job. All right. Now we move into either tree pose or if you want to try the full posture, you bring your right foot up into your left hip flexor, kind of like a half lotus position. Grab your left foot with your left hand. Reach your right arm around. See if you can bind your right left forearm. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, if possible, take your fold. You don't have to take a fold. If it's accessible for you, you can reach the toe, left hand to the floor, and release, or you can take both hands down. One, two, softly fold into this, don't force, three, four, and five. Inhale, head up only. Exhale, sit body, inhale, come up. Take your time. Try not to leave the foot, lengthen the torso. And then exhale, release the leg. All right, setting up for the other side. Punch, inhale, left foot into half lotus. Create a nice bind, reach the left arm around. See if you can find the toe or the forearm. Wiggle that head closer. Inhale, lengthen. Shock, exhale, take your fold. You can bring just the right hand down as you grab the big toe, 
or both hands down to find a little bit more balance. Try to line up your fingers with your right toes and then exhale, let the head relax. One. Pull that left knee down, pull it back. Two. Three. Calm breathing. Open your eyes. Keep your gaze steady. Four. Five. Stop the inhale. Head up only there. Exhale. Slowly, softly bend into your right knee. Ashta, inhale, come up. Try not to leave your foot. Come up with control and balance. Lift the heart space, lift the chest. And then exhale, release the left leg. Samastitihi, back to the top of the mat. Beautiful. Moving into Uttatasana. Ekam, inhale, arms up. Palms together. Dwe, exhale, fold. Baby, inhale, lift. Swadi, exhale, jump back. Chaturanga. Pancha, inhale. Stop, exhale. So, as we move into the try to jump both feet forward between the hands. So, Sapta, inhale, jump your feet, land your heels, keep your knees and feet together, soften the hips, arms up. One. Two, ground through the heels. Three, look at your thumbs, arms straight, palms together. Four, sit down into your posture. Five, ashta, exhale, hands to the floor, pick it up. So you can pick up one foot or both feet, see if you can find a little lift. Nava, exhale, jump back, chaturanga. Nacha, inhale. Ekadasha, exhale. Now moving into our warrior poses. Sapta, inhale, right foot steps forward, arms up. One, bend into that right knee. Look at your thumbs again. Two, lift the chest. Three, arms straight. Four, good. Five, now keep looking up. Straighten the right leg, pivot the foot in, open the left foot and bend the left knee. One, stay here. Keep looking up if you can. Two, stabilize your breath. Three, four, keep bending into that left knee. Five, now keep the legs just over the arms. Extend them, one to the back, one to the front. One, warrior two. Two, sit the hips down, stack the torso over the hips. Three, Four, relax the shoulders. Five, good. Switching sides, right knee bends, right toe points. Sit strong into your posture. Look over right fingertips. One, mindful of your back arm. It likes to sink. Keep it parallel. Two, reach the torso back as you bring the right knee forward. Three, stabilize with your breath. Four, And five, exhale, wind the left hand to the floor, slide the right foot back a little bit. We're gonna to try to kick up. So let's do it two times. The left leg stays straight. It's gonna lead the way as you push with the right foot. So inhale, kick up and touch. And then you can come back down, reset. Let's do it one more time. Left leg straight, inhale, kick up. And then this time, take your chaturangi. Inhale, upward facing. And exhale. Downward facing. Beautiful. We're going to kind of jump through the seat in here. So take a moment in your downward facing dog before we do. From our downward facing dog, walk your feet and your hands to the back of your mat so that your heels are slightly off the mat. This is going to give you the best space to move forward. Separate your hands a little wider than you normally would. Maybe your pinkies are outside the mat. Move the shoulders back. Now inhale, look forward. Step or jump your feet forward. Extend your legs and sit down. Coming into um, uh, <laughs> our first seated posture, Dandasana position. So hands are on either sides of the hips. Lift through the rib cage, roll the shoulders back, strong legs. Hollow out the lower belly, look down the bridge of your nose, chin tucks down a bit. One. Two. 
two, long spine here. Three. If you're feeling sweaty, let it come. Don't worry about it. Four, it's gonna keep coming, so just let it happen. Five, Paschimottanasana. Lean forward, grab your big toes. Hey, come in, inhale, lengthen. Enjoy and fold. One. Move the shoulders back and down. Two. Try to relax the face onto the shins if you can. Three. Lengthen out of your spine to come forward. Try not to uh, fold in the middle back. Three. Four. Try to catch your breath here. Five. Then inhale, head up only. Exhale. Now let's grab the outsides of the feet. Maybe we interlace the fingers or you can find your wrists or another deeper bind. And exhale, take your fold. Keep your feet flat, strong legs, hollow up the belly. Hold deeply. One. Two. Find the deepest bind you can get to, wherever that is for you. Three. Four. And five. Inhale, head up only. Exhale there. Release. Cross your feet, hands between the feet and the hip. Inhale. Pick everything up, slide your feet back, jump back, and take your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right. Moving into back now. So looking forward. Inhale, jump your feet through. Extend and sit. Hands now about a foot behind you. Point your toes. Keep a nice, strong, steady legs here because you're going to want to lift the pelvis. So strong legs. Look down to the belly button or towards your chest. Inhale, lift everything up. Keep looking, toes down, belly in, and drop the head back. One, two, hips up, up and forward. Three, four, keep pointing the toes down. Five, exhale and release. Good job. Cross your feet. Inhale, pick it up, slide them back. Jump those feet back, take chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Good. Moving into the hips, outward rotation. And inhale, jump your feet forward. Extend and sit. Right foot goes into half lotus. Bring that sole, the top of the foot towards the hip crease. Right arm kind of moves back and towards that right foot. Now it's possible you won't be able to reach it. So you can take your left hand to your right knee. Give yourself a little twist, and then maybe at that point, you can find the toe. Once you have the toe, we stabilize center, and then left hand to left foot. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. One. Right shoulder down. Keep your two shoulders in one spot. Two. Left foot is strong. Right knee pushes to the floor. Three. Four, you can see they're barking. Five, inhale, head up only. Exhale there and release the binds. Release the right foot. Crossing the right foot, inhale, pick it up. Exhale, jump it back. Hey, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Beautiful, left side. Inhale, jump forward and through. Take your time, try to find control. Left foot in, open the left foot to the side. Take the left foot up and over like a half lotus. Be mindful of your left knee. Position your foot in place. And then you're gonna take that left arm up and back. Lead with that left shoulder, left elbow, all the way behind you. And then you can add that little twist and so you can find the foot. Once you have the foot, then we realign the shoulder. Right hand to right foot. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, take your fold. One. Relax into it. Going forward. Two. Wherever you are, 
Breathe steady. Look at the tip of your nose. Three. Softly move into the space without struggle. Four. Move the right shoulder back. Stabilize your breath. Five. Inhale, head up only. Exhale there. All right, release the binds. All of that. <laughs> release the left foot. Cross the left foot over. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, jump back. Check it on back. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Good. So if you've been practicing for a while, I'd like you to try this new transition. If you have, if you're new, just go back to a normal seated position and we'll kind of meet there. So we're going to look forward. We're going to keep the right leg back and we're going to extend the left leg forward. So it looks something like this. You're going to keep that right leg back, just extend the left leg and then come into Trianga Mukha. So if you came to seated, just simply bring that right leg back, point the toes behind you. Inhale, length. Exhale, find your left foot. Extend the spine. Exhale, fold deeply. One. Relax the shoulders. Two. Easy breathing. Three. Dina. Relax. Four. And five. Inhale, head up only. Exhale. So you can go back into the regular cross legged to jump back or point your toe. Inhale, pick everything up, including your right knee. Lift yourself up as you tuck that left foot back. We come back into this position and then jump back. Take Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. All right, you'll get to see it on the other side. Give it a try if you like. Look forward, regular jump through, or you're going to take that right leg through and keep the left leg behind so you can sit down into the asana. So we're already set up for We don't have to adjust anything else. Hands come forward, find your bind. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. One, two, stabilize your breath, three, Four, keep moving the left hip back and down. Five, inhale, head up only. Exhale there, release your bind. We're gonna lift everything up or cross and jump back, either way. So lift everything up. Excuse me, thank you. <laughs> lift everything up and then bring that right foot back so you're back in that low lasana position. From here, you can jump your feet back, take your chaturanga, good. Inhale, upward facing, great job, you guys. Exhale, downward facing. Okay, stabilize your breath here. We're gonna kind of pull a little bit short through the practice just because of time reasons. So jump your feet through, come to seated. We're gonna do all the jhanas on the right, jump back and then do all the jhanas on the left. So right foot into uh, the inner thigh of the left leg. Exhale, come forward, find your left foot. Lengthen and fold. One, two, three, four. Stabilize your breath. This is your opportunity to deepen the inhale, slow down the exhale. Five, inhale, head up only. Exhale there, release. Lifting the hips, and we're going to come and sit on top of that right heel. So take your right heel right there to your Perineum, I think Mindy said it's called. Perineum, something like that. The area between the genitals and the anus. So you want to find that feel in that exact spot. Once you're balanced there, reach forward, find your left foot. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. You should not be able to see your toes on the left side of your body. They're pointing forward. One. Two, nice stretch for the ankle here. Keep hollowing out the lower belly. Move a bandha, engage. Three, shoulders back and down. Four, and five. Inhale, head up only. Exhale there. Release, come off the heel. So lift up, hips back, and we're back into Janu A. Now we're gonna take that right foot, toes down, heel into the inner groin of the left leg. 
So the toes, your foot is straight down. All the five toes are on the floor. Inhale, lengthen the torso. Exhale, take another fold. Grab a hold of that foot. Lengthen, exhale, fold. I'm super sweaty right now, guys. Hopefully you are too. One, relax the shoulders. Two, strong stretch into those toes and ankles. Three, four, and five. Inhale, head up only. Exhale, release. You know that's a bad spot. All right, let's go ahead. Cross your feet. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, jump back. Chaturanga, stay with me. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Left side now. Inhale, jump through. Extend and sit. Left foot into Janu A. Sole of the foot to the inner thigh of the right leg. Lengthen up through the torso. Align yourself with the right leg. Exhale, take your fold. Find your grip. Lengthen and fold. One. Soften the shoulders. Two. Try to lengthen your exhales the most, most you can. Three. <clears throat> Four. Calm and steady. Five. Inhale, head up only. Exhale there. Don't do anything else. Just exhale. And then release. Okay. Those left toes are still going to point forward. We're going to lift our hips up. Slide the hips forward so that we can position the heel in that spot. Turn your torso to face that right leg. Exhale. Once more, take your fold. And release. One. Move the shoulders back. Two, Mula Bandha, deeply engaged so you can keep that pressure there. Three, where that pressure is, that's where you want to feel it. That's where you want to feel hollowing out and drawing up and in of the pelvic floor. Four, five, inhale, head up only. Sit up, release the arms, come off the heel, and now C position, those toes tuck under. And the heel moves into the inner groin of the right thigh. So you might have to position it a couple of times to get it in place. Once it's in position, turn your body to face that right foot. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, find the foot. Maybe the ankle, maybe the foot. Maybe you can interlace your fingers. Everybody's different. Wherever you are, release and relax. One. Two. Three, four, calm and steady. Five, inhale, head up only. Down there. Release your bind. Release that left foot. Take some time. Cross the feet. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, jump back. Take your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale. Downward facing. Okay, Marichasana. Jump through to seated once more. Try to move with control and ease. Once you're down, take your right knee, bend it on the floor, bend your right knee, right foot on the floor. Marichasana A. We're going to take the right side of our body through, maybe find that left foot. You want to clear the shoulder so you can take your right arm up and back towards your right kidney. Left arm reaches up and around, and we find the hand. Bind your hand. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold chin to shin or to the knee. One, ground through your right foot. Two, steady gaze at the tip of the nose. Three, move the left shoulder back, right shoulder forward, four. And five, inhale, head up, exhale, and release. We're going to repeat this pose on the other side, and then we'll jump back just for the sake of time. Bend your left knee, plant your foot on the floor. Reach that left arm up and through to find your right foot. Try to get your body to come forward and down. Then reach that left shoulder, push the knee and the shoulder towards each other, turn the palm, bend the elbow and reach back towards your left kidney. You can wiggle your hand up there. Your right hand now, back and around. 
There you are, there's your fingers. Get a close grip, bind with your fingers as tightly as you can or find your wrist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold deeply. Right shoulder back, left shoulder forward, settle in. One, two, strong left foot planted on the floor, all the toes are down. Three, four, and five. Inhale, head up only. Exhale there, release your bind. Cross your feet, inhale, pick it up. Exhale, jump back, take chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, moving quickly. Exhale, downward facing. Okay, let's head up for the other side it, or for the other pose. B, inhale, jump through, extend, and sit down. This time we're gonna take the left foot, either tuck it underneath the hip with the right foot in front, or you can try, if you've been coming for a while, that left foot into half lotus. Lean to the left, bend the right knee. This is a deep stretch for that left foot. So if it's too much, just do the modification. Right arm inside the leg, reach forward and out. Right hand to the back, the right side kidney. Left hand comes around, find your bind, find your fingers and your grip. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, try to fold. One, even if you don't go very far, no worries. Two, imagine your chin resting on the floor one day. Three, four, stabilize with your breath. Always come back to your breathing. Five, inhale, head up, exhale, and release. Good, first release the right leg, then release the left leg, and then we come back to Dandasana. Right foot now, half lotus, or the modification, your choice. Lean to the right, bend the left knee with the right foot still in the half lotus or on the floor. Either way is fine. Reach that left arm forward and through. So you're trying to kind of come into the space. Left arm comes around towards that left kidney, wiggle it up there. Right hand now reaches around and you can bind your fingers or even just the tips of your fingers. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, take your fold again, imagining your chin one day resting on the floor. One, two, three, calm and steady breathing, four, and five. Inhale, come up. Exhale there, we're gonna release the bind. First, release the left leg, then release the right leg. Cross your feet, pick it up. And then jump back, take chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Beautiful job. One more marachasana, well actually two, but we're gonna combine it. Inhale, jump through, sit down. So the first one, just bend the right knee, just like you did in A, but this time we're gonna take a twist. So you can reach that right arm back, lean back a little bit, hollow up the belly and try to clear that left shoulder. Actually, if you like, you can grab that right shin and then pull your way through so that that left hand can reach around towards your left kidney. Once it's there, right arm can reach around. Maybe you grab your fingertips, maybe not. Look over right shoulder, one. Stabilize your breath. Two, calm and steady. Three, right foot down, rooted. Four, and five. Gaze forward, release your bind, come back to center. Before we do the other side, take your right leg forward. And again, you can modify by bringing that left foot under, right foot on top. We're gonna go in the same direction towards the right. Or you can try the foot also in that half lotus position, bend the right knee and come into the position here. So this is a perfect place to try. And then you can reach around. You can try to find your twist, play with moving forward and back, try to kind of create that space. If possible, maybe reach that left hand towards the left ankle and keep the right hand behind you for control. Look back over right shoulder. You can always attempt the bind if you're there. 
Otherwise, stay here. One, two, three, keep twisting, four, and five. Exhale, look over the left shoulder, release the bind, both hands. First the right leg, then the left leg, cross your feet, pick it up, jump back, chaturanga, nice and quick and steady. All the way down, inhale deep, all the way up. Exhale, all the way back. Good, now let's do the left side, those two combined. Inhale, jump through, extend and sit, nice. So starting with the left leg, bend the knee, take the left arm around, reach that right side rib cage up and around. So you want to kind of cross your body through. You can grab a hold of that shin, move into that space the best you can, wiggle it through, and maybe that right knee can reach around towards the hip or towards the thigh, wherever you can reach it. Move the shoulder back and down as the left arm comes around. Maybe you grab your bind, maybe you don't. No worries. Look over left shoulder. One. Two, three, keep the twist happening. Four, strong right leg. Five, exhale, look over right shoulder. Release your bind, come back to center and release your left leg. So again, finding either your modification with the foot on the floor or coming into a half lotus with the right foot into the left hip flexor. Bend the left knee. Find yourself in this upright position. Maybe this is enough, or you can try going for the twist. Looking out over that right leg, reach around. Same way here, you can grab the left shin and kind of close that space. That left foot is going to press and create a little tension. Then you can reach for the ankle, left hand behind you, and look over left shoulder. One, deep twist here. Two. Three, it's hard to breathe in this position. Do it anyway. Four, try to lengthen your exhales. And five, slowly release. Come back to center. Release the left leg. Release the right leg. Cross your feet. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, jump back. Take chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Okay, my um, Navasana. Inhale, jump through. Right away, extend the legs, arms forward, look at your toes. One, shoulders back and down. Two, stabilize the breath. Three, four, and five. Cross your feet, inhale, lift. exhale, down. Again, Navasana. One, steady, steady. Two, Three, <clears throat> four, and five. Cross your feet. Pick yourself up off the floor. Come back down. Third set. Navasana. Up and lift. One, two. Good. Three. Stay with it. Four, and five. Cross your feet. Inhale. Pick it up. Exhale down. Navasana again. Hold. One. Lift the chest. Two. Look at your toes. Smile. Three. Four. And five. Beautiful. Cross your feet. Pick it up. We got one more. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Here we go. Legs up. One. Two. I'm with you here. Three. These are tough. Four. And five. Beautiful. Cross your feet. Pick it up. Exhale. Jump back. Take Chaturanga. Inhale. Upward facing. Exhale. Downward facing. All right. Moving into back bending. That is our half primary. Moving into back bending now. Jump your feet through. Extend the legs and sit down. Lay all the way back onto your back. And take a moment here. <clears throat> Bend your knees, plant your feet on the floor. We're going to do three sets of bridge pose. 
And then we're going to try to come up into Urdhva. So for bridge pose, plant the feet, hands come down towards the heels. Inhale, tuck the tailbone under. And exhale, take a moment there. Inhale again, lift up, wriggle the shoulders under, find your bridge pose. One, push the hips up as you press strong into your feet. Two, round into your shoulders, look towards your belly button. Three, four, stay strong. Five, exhale, lower down. Inhale again, pick it up. Nice and steady. We're going to flow right through it. One. Draw legs. Hips up. Two. Three. Four. Stabilize the breath. Five. Lower down. Last one. Inhale. Take it up. Hips up. Stay with it. Wiggle the shoulders under. Nice tall. One. Hips up. Two. Strong legs, three. Remember how this feels for when you come to Urdhva. Four, and five, lower it down. Okay, if you wanted to do another three sets, just like that one, you're welcome to try that. Or if you wanted to try Urdhva Dhanurasana, we're gonna place our hands on either sides of the ears, palms down, fingers pointing towards your shoulders. Or yeah, don't let your elbows open up to the sides. Keep them pointing up towards the ceiling. Same as before, inhale, hips come up, find that lift in the hips, and then this time you're gonna press into your hands, place the top of your head on the floor. Stabilize here if you feel steady, if you feel strong. Inhale, pick yourself up. One, two, arms straight, as straight as you can get them. Three, four, and five, head down, okay. See if you can do it again. Inhale, elbows in. Pick it up. One, strong legs. Two, three, stay with me. Four, five, good. One more, you can do it. Here we go, position your hands, elbows in. Inhale, pick it up. One, two, look towards your thumbs. Three, four, and five. Drop your head down and release. Those are fun, <laughs> for lack of a better word. And then let your feet pull over to each side. However well or not so well you went through those, if you attempted, that is a beautiful start. Easy inhale, slow exhale. We're going to cross our feet and we're going to roll up to seated. Take the legs, extend them forward, and let's find a nice release for the back. Paschimottanasana, find your feet. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. This time you wanna relax into this forward fold. So we're not trying to pull, we're just gonna release the back. Two, we hold this one for 10. Three. Deepen your inhale, four. Lengthen your exhale, make your exhales long. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, let your body soften. And 10, inhale, head up only, exhale there, release, good. One last jump back, cross your feet, inhale, pick it up, jump your feet back, take chaturanga, inhale, upward facing, exhale down. Closing poses now, let's go into the closing asana. So lay all the way onto the back, we're going to start with shoulder stand. Arms down by your sides, legs up. You can do this here. This is just leg off the wall. It's good for when you're on your cycle or when you just feel like you just need to rest and let your body recover. Otherwise, pull all the way up into shoulder stand, hips up, wriggle your shoulders under, hug your elbows in, get your hands high into the middle back, point your toes, legs straight, hold here. One, two, 
three, stabilize your breathing, four, try to get that toes to point to the ceiling, not behind you, five, six, seven, eight, almost there, we count this one to ten, nine, and step it forward, ten. Now, drop the feet back to come into Halasana. So the toes come to the floor, tops of the feet can come to the floor. If they touch, then you can release the arms. Otherwise, keep your hands at your hips. One, legs straight, hips up. Two, try to relax your fingers to the floor if your hands are interlaced. Three, don't look around. Stay in the posture. Four, hard to breathe here. Do it anyway. Five, six, seven, and eight. Bend your knees. This time you're going to squeeze your ears with your knees and then again extend the arms if possible. Tops of the feet on the floor, toes and heels together. Two, three, round the back, four, five, six, seven, and eight, release. Take your weight back into uh, into your shoulder stand once more. If you have full lotus, you can take your full lotus, or you can just cross your feet. Either way works. You can also help your lotus by using your arms. Settle yourself onto your shoulders. One hand to the left knee, one hand to the right knee. Balance here on the shoulders. One. It's like you're doing Padmasana on the ceiling. Two. Three, four, stabilize with your breathing always. Five, six, almost there. Seven, eight. Now bring your shins down towards your forehead. Maybe you can reach your arms around and find your fingertips to bind. One, two, really hard to breathe here. Three, it's okay. Stay calm. Four, calm mind, calm spirit. Five, you're okay. Stay with it. Six, seven, almost there. And eight, release. Arms down, slowly lower yourself down. Keep your head on the floor. Release your legs down. Good. Now we're going to press into the elbows, lift the head and chest, drop the head back, top of the head on the floor. You can even slide yourself a little bit more. Hold on to your feet or hands on your thighs, arms straight, knees down. One, two, bellies in, three, look to the tip of your nose, four, five, Seven and eight. Nice. Release the legs, arms up, legs up. Keep the head and chest in the same position. Two, three, four, five, six. Don't give up. You can do it. Seven and eight. Release the head. Bring the legs back into a nice Uttu or a um, Viparita Karani. Stay here for a moment. <clears throat> Recenter yourself. And then we're going to cross the legs, roll ourselves up. Take one more vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale down. Okay. Our last posture of the day before the three closing asanas, we're gonna go into headstand. So for preparation work, you wanna bring the elbows down to the floor, measure out your elbows, interlace your fingers, you're gonna place your head on the floor with the back of your head into your palms. So you kind of have to position yourself here. Start by pressing into the shoulders so you engage there already. 
Maybe you can tuck the toes under, lift the hips, and walk the feet in. This is a great place to stay here. One. If you're feeling confident, let the feet float up, bring the legs together. Two. Then you can continue to elevate the legs. Three. Strong shoulders as you press up. Four. Wherever you are, calm your breathing. Five. Stabilize your shoulders. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Keep breathing. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Wherever you are, stay calm. Thirteen. Be peaceful. Fourteen. Now after 15 here, let's go halfway. If you've lifted, go halfway or try to float. One, try to float the toes up. Two, three, stay strong. Four, point the toes. Five, stabilize with your shoulders. Six, seven, and eight. Then come back up. Can you re-stabilize with your shoulders? Can you come back up to upright? And then exhale, slowly lower down, knees down, take balasana, let the elbows relax, forehead to the floor. Breathe steady here. Letting all of that go. No judgment, just feeling a sense of joy and patience for your body, your journey. One more deep breath in. Slow breath out. Inhale, lift the hands. Take your hands to the floor. We're going to cross the feet, slide them forward to take our last three asanas. Beautiful work today, you guys. You can take a half lotus or a full lotus, up to you. Or you can just cross your feet, however is comfortable for you. Hands go behind the back, hold on to your opposite elbows. Once you have those opposite elbows, inhale, lengthen, exhale, find your fold. Imagine one day your chin resting on the floor. Relax into it. One, two, calm breathing. Three, four, five. Six, inhale, settle, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Inhale, head up. Move the shoulders back. Let's release the arms. If you have a half lotus, switch to the other leg. Otherwise, stay in your cross-legged or your full lotus. Arms extend, thumbs and fingers together, other two fingers extended out. Shoulders back and down, bellies in, chin down towards the chest. One, two, let your charge and your batteries up here. Three, four, calm and steady breath. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine, very nice, one more, ten, preparing for Utkuti feet, again you can have your feet in your half or full, in your full lotus or cross leg at this time, hands on the floor, inhale, pick everything up, Hold here, one, lift the chest, lift the chin. Two, look down the tip of your nose. Three, shoulders back and down, hips up. Four, if you're in lotus, lift those knees. Five, strong here. Six, this is the last hurrah, you can do it. Seven, stay lifted. Eight, almost there. Nine, good job, nine and a half. And 10, release, come down. 
All right, so if you have your lotus, here's an, um, a, a transition you might want to try. Come onto your knees, come into the hands, inhale, lift the chest, exhale, kind of bend into your arms to lift yourself up. So you want to place your body, your rib cage, onto your elbows, lift your knees up, and then you can release the lotus and sit. Inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing. Beautiful job. From here, we're just going to jump to standing so that we can do our closing mantra. Inhale, jump your feet forward. Lengthen the body. Exhale, forward. Inhale, come up. Hands in prayer. Soften shoulders. Take a few moments to regulate your breath. Maybe even close your eyes. And again, let your body feel with gratitude. For the sense of ease and peace, you've accomplished a strong practice today. So I'll give yourself a little pat on the back. Thank you, body. As you feel ready, we'll take a nice deep breath in for the closing mantra. Feel free to chant along if you know it. Oh, praja vyaha. Paripala yantam, nyayena margena, mahi mahi shaha, go brahma nevyaha, shiva mastu nityam, lokaha samastaha, sukino bhavantu, om shanti, shanti, shanti. Inhale, inhale, arms up, gazing towards thumbs. Jue, exhale, folding forward, hinging at the hips, forehead to the knees. Deep inhale, extend the spine. Chatwari, exhale, jump back. Chaturanga. Pancha, inhale. And shot. Exhale. From here, we'll jump back through the seated. And then this time we'll lay all the way down onto our backs. Take a moment to extend the legs, let the feet flop out, relax through the hips, the upper thighs, the belly. Release the arms to the sides, palms facing up, relax the shoulders, the back of the head. Close your eyes. Shavasana. Final resting pose. Releasing lactic acid we build to the muscles through our work. Our yoga asana, sometimes also called tapas, or the effortful practice. Allow your body to release all of that, all of that fire, all of that effort, all of that work. See if you can melt into the floor and surrender to what is. No more fight, no more force, no more struggle. Easy breathing. Mm -hmm. 